Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ember series, and let's talk about the Ember service. A service is an Ember object that lives for the whole duration of the application and can be made available in different parts of your application. For example, you can get access to the service from the different component and also in the different routes. Besides that, the service can communicate with each other as well. Service are useful for features that require shared state or persistent connections. One of the use cases here is the user authentications. Imagine you're on the login page. You finish typing your username and password and then click on the logged in. You file a request to the server and get some data back. You put that data into the user service and you can share that information to another page. For example, the user profile page or any other page you want to show user information. Let's jump into our project to see what service can do for us. Let's run our app first. And here we're at the item details page. Imagine we're very satisfied with the product and also the price. I want, we wanted to have a add to cart button here. So once I click it, we're going to store the selected item in somewhere. And once we go to the shopping cart, we're going to show a list of the item we selected and show the corresponding total price so that we can check out. So what are we going to do here is to create a shopping cart service to manage this shared state. So let's do Ember G service shopping cart. So within the service, let's create a empty list and let's add some dummy data in there. Then we need to go to the card controller and inject our service. So here is the standard practice to alias inject as a service to make it more clear that it's performing the service injection. You may want to ask why not just rename the inject as a service inside the Ember package. I have no idea, but this is how it is. The simplest way to use in the service is to use as a decorator. So we do add service, shopping cart. Then let's go to the cart template and render the list of the items that we selected. And running our app. You can see there's two items here with the different uh, item names. It means our service was injected successfully. Let's go back to the card controller. And the service name right now is exactly the same with the file name. So what if we wanted to use some customized name? So there's still a way to doing so. We need to use the decorator to pass the, uh, the file names in here and put our customized name to be the actual name. Don't forget to update that in the template as well. So let's save it. And you can see this is still working. So now let's go to the product details item component and add an add to cart button here. After we click on this button, we're going to push the current product object into the service and store it over there. So here we have a on click event and a function which is the add to cart. Since we don't have the uh, JavaScript for the details component, we need to create one. So we do ember g component class product slash details. Similar to the route, we need to inject the service in here in order to use it. Then we will have an action here to add the product object into the cart. Here we introduce a new function inside the cart service, the add item. And this function will take the product name, color, image, and also the price. Then inside the shopping cart service, let's add this function. Let's console lock this to verify it's working. It looks good right now. So the color is red. It has the corresponding image and also the name. 
if we change the color to black and add to a card again, you can see color change to black and it also have the different image here. Now let's add this item inside the item list. So here we need to mark the item list as tracked. So what do we do here is to reassign the, the whole list because that's going to trigger the tracked event and then the page will re-render based on the different item list. Now let's add this into the shopping cart and then go to the cart. You can see the base solo wireless headphones here. So let's remove the dummy data and make it back to the empty list. So let's try again. So we go to the this one. So we go to the headphones, add to cart, and add the black one into the cart as well. And if we go to shopping carts, you can see there's a two wireless headphones. You might notice it's a little bit hard to tell whether the item was added into the cart. So we need to add an indicator on top of this shopping cart icon to indicate how many items were added into the cart. So let's go to the general container and we can see our cart icon is over here. Then let's add an indicator next to it. And it looks a little bit weird, so let's add some style on it. So we create a class called cart count. And let's go to the homepage.sas to implement this style. We want this icon on the top right with a very standout color and proper size. So now it looks better. After the style is ready, let's create a JavaScript for the general container as well in order to inject the service. So let's do Ember G component class general container. We also need to import the decorator and inject the service. So we only show the indicator when the item list is not empty. So here we need to leverage the Ember helper that we learned before, the if helper. And the number we show here is based on how many items we selected. Let's run our app. You can see there is no indicator in the very beginning. But once we add an item into the car, the number will update to 1. And if we add another item, it will update it into 2. That's pretty much about this tutorial. Hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want more. So for the next tutorial, I'm going to finish this project by reusing everything that we learned, like the service, the helper, and also I'm going to teach you how to leverage the uh, track the class or track the instance object, and also how to dealing with the form input. So see you next time. Peace.